Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Danny and I got a small little rip video I wanted to do. Um, I'm trying to mix it up. I did a 1986 Tops video the other day and I've had some different cards in my possession that I've been waiting to do rip videos on and uh, such is the case uh, today. I just I had some time and I thought man I'm gonna get in here and I'll punch out a video and so not exactly sure when I'll drop this one but uh, this is one of the ones I was wanting to do. Uh, if you may already know this but I've mentioned before I don't have a whole lot of slab cards I, I think I've got 10 11 uh, one of the first uh, two that I got when I first bought slab cards I actually picked up two at the same time uh, one of them was a Wade Boggs and the other was this 1990 Leaf uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, and it graded out at a PSA 9 I am betting do you see these little dots right here those that is called a print hickey and uh, my buddy Amio laughed at a uh, comment the other day. That's actually what we call them in the business. And I've been to several different plants, done several different things in the printing profession, and they've called it the same thing at every place I've ever been. So uh, a print hickey. A little dot up there that's not supposed to be there is called a print hickey. So anyhow, uh, I know it's kind of kind of silly. Um, so I was at a card shop in Nashville, uh, gosh, man, probably a month, month and a half ago. I'm not exactly sure. And I was rummaging through some stuff they had. I actually went there to buy some uh, late 80s, early 90s hobby bo or boxes. I don't know that they had hobby boxes, but boxes of product. And um, they were wanting like $20 and $25, $30 for stuff. And it was just ridiculous. Uh, you get them on baseball card exchange all day for half that price um, or less. So I decided not to. But one of the boxes he had was a 1990 Leaf box. And you can see there were three packs for $15. I picked up three packs. Now, he gave me the line that the Frank Thomas in there hadn't been found yet. Who knows, man? It's not like I'm going to open these packs and call him up and say, Hey, dude, I found it, you know. Um, so anyhow, I already have the Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, uh, from this set, obviously because I have it slabbed. And so the card I would really like to pull from this is Ken Griffey Jr. And if you look, it comes with Yogi Berra puzzle pieces. And, you know, I am a puzzle guy as well. I like to get them. I like to frame them. I have yet to frame my Harmon Killebrew puzzle from the 91 set. But I do have it and I do have a frame. I just hadn't done it. I'm kind of lazy. So... <laughs> so having said that, uh, this shouldn't take too long, but I do want to rip these three packs and uh, see what we can pull out of them. I get very nostalgic uh, when I rip stuff like this because it just takes me back to, to being a kid uh, ripping and it makes me feel, wait for it, 12 again. So anyhow, so there's a picture of Yogi Berra's face. So that's an awesome puzzle piece, so we'll stick that to the side. And also like that you get a bunch of cards in each pack. Looks like 15. So we're gonna start the uh, party off with a Roberto Alomar, dude, and another card. Look, and I don't think that's his rookie card. I guess 88 was his rookie card, but that is an awesome card. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, followed by Donnie Baseball, great card. I love it. Uh, Jose Oquendo, um, man. <laughs> followed by Kirby Puckett. So. All the, you know, just four cards in, and I'm I'm already happy. You know what I mean? I'm already happy with what I pulled. And there's Andy Van Slyke. Greg Vaughn, I can remember when he was a highly touted, or touted uh, rookie. And so this card, back in the day, may have been 2 3 $4, or whatever, for just a little bit. But I guess overall he didn't really pan out. So Dickie Thon, Danny Tartable. Danny Tartable was an interesting guy. It seemed like he only played hard. In his contract years, um, and you know, and I say that a, a bit loosely. I thought he was an excellent ball player. Uh, it's just it seemed like when he was in the last year of a contract, he played his tail off, and then he get would get signed by somebody. Uh, Frank Viola, followed by Frank Tanana, Tim Wallach, Brooke Jacoby. There's Fernando. That's pretty awesome. Ozzy Guillen and Dave Smith. So great first pack. Um, this set right here is pretty awesome. It's expensive, you know, at least for me. Um, so I'll probably not be able to, to uh, build this set. But again, there's a, another puzzle piece and there's a Vince Coleman. These cards are awesome, man, having pictures on the back as well. Uh, let's see, let's move this out. Jim Deshays, Chuck Finley. There's Wild Thing, Mitch Williams, Jody Reed, Pete Smith. 
Phil Bradley, an awesome checklist. There's Crime Dog Fred McGriff, awesome card. There's Harold Baines, a Hall of Famer. Uh, much respect. Don't know how you did it, but you did it. So good kudos to you, Kevin Mitchell. Um, let's see, is this before you know? That was right after he had his breakout year. 47 home runs, 158 hits, 291 average. Um, most valuable player in 89. So there you go. Uh, reigning MVP. Jay Buhner, another great hitter. He uh, benefited greatly from batting around King Griffey Jr. in the lineup. Um, and he held his own. Uh, he did really well as well. So there's a Jose Canseco. Awesome card. Gary Templeton. Steve Sachs as a Yankee, not as a Dodger. And then finally Vince Coleman. You can see uh, Steve Sachs was a, a Dodger, a L.A. Dodger for a long time. Won the World Series with them in 1988. All right. Last pack, and hopefully we'll pull us a nice Frank Thomas out of here. If not, that'll give us a reason to eventually buy some more. So, again, a, another uh, puzzle piece that we did not have. Uh, so, it'd be cool to build that Yogi Berra puzzle. If you got any of the puzzle pieces and like to trade them or just send them my way, uh, you can email me at 12 sports at gmail.com, and uh, maybe we can work out a deal. There is Alan Anderson, Bob Walk, Chuck Krim. Vaughn Hayes, Bob Boone, David Cohn, he was a great player back in the day, Sweet Lou Whitaker, Tim Burke, John Farrell, Hubie Brooks, there is Mr. Pudge Carlton Fisk, great player, Mike Scott, Burt Belilevin, Rob Dibble, oh, great last card, I saw... Him play in Nashville, albeit just briefly. I didn't go to many games in 88. Most of them were in 89 and 90. Um, but there is a Rob Dibble. And, of course, my PC guy, Wade Boggs. So, just for giggles, we will stand him up beside Mr. Griffey Jr. Uh, so, really cool little rip. Uh, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Tell me what you think about 1990 Leaf. Uh, I think it's a great product. Uh, that was a really fun little rip. We didn't find the Frank Thomas like we hoped for. If I ever find myself back at, I believe the name of the shop was Cards Are Fun. If I find myself back there, hopefully I can pick up three more packs and kind of hold them to the side until we find some more. Um, anyhow, great rip. I got a PC card. I love it. I got some puzzle pieces, you know, and it gives me something to work on later. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And, uh, of course... We will catch you on the next video. Thanks.